students in this short video i would like to discuss the chapter is this desirable this is a translation of a malayalam short story written by lalithambika andarjanam titled idu aashasyamo lalithambika andarjanam was a indian author famous for her writings in malayalam she wrote various short stories poems and a novel her novel agni sakshi won the kendra sahitya academy award and kerala sahitya academy award in 1977 before moving on to this short story i would like to discuss the context in which this story was written the story is set in the background of caste organizations being formed for initiating social reforms among various communities in kerala in the first half of the 20th century some of the questions that they address include women issues like education for women widow remarriage rising the age of marriage and modernizing their attire in the nambudiri caste this was done by the organized organization named yogakshema sabha formed in 1908 they used their magazine their mouthpiece yogakshemam through which they spread these ideas however this short story exposes the limits of such social reforms in a wonderful manner the main characters of this short stories are np a man who was at first motivated by the social reform activities and encouraged his wife for these activities but later on gets fed up and tries to control her wife again his wife papi is the another important character she was a she is a woman who is motivated by the ideals of uh, social reforms at that time so when the short story begins we find np enters the house demanding a cup of tea from her wife she is breastfeeding her child and is also reading the newspaper yogakshema when he demands the coffee he, uh, he she immediately goes to the kitchen stopping the breastfeeding in the middle that makes the child annoyed and it started crying this makes the man even more irritated and he shouts at her their grandmother joins the conversation and she says that np himself is responsible for this because he encouraged her to take part in public lecture writing and so on and now she finds only time to read so if you want tea you should prepare yourself this makes this man even more angry but when he and he makes the comment that you should remain here you know what happens if the horse gets the horn a comment that is uh, try to irritate her but she retorts to the comment in a wonderful manner that makes the man even more angry and he tries to slap her anyway uh, she evades and uh, somehow he hits the teapot and it breaks now at night when np comes to the bedroom after his usual card games and all papi slowly begins a conversation about an article that came in the yogakshema this article was written by her own husband and she asked her about it in this article it attacks the andarjana the women of nambudri caste and saying that they don't have the capacity to write and speak without the help of their husband so she is a little bit irritated by this comment and he she asks the opinion of her husband but 
NP was very adamant. He says whatever the article claimed was true. And he added that they are incapable of uh, producing something of their own without the help of their husbands. <laughs> anyway, uh, after the conversation, he goes to bed. So here at night, his wife, Papi, slowly gets up from the bed and she starts writing. She wants to write a reply to this article. So the next issue of Yogakshemam came up with a reply by a, a woman. After seeing this article, NP becomes really annoyed. He thinks that this is written by a man with a female pseudonym. However, he wants to write a reply. He calls his friends and somehow manages to write a reply. In this reply, they abuse the man, they think, who wrote this article and abuse women of the Mudri caste like anything. And they think that, you know, even if they want to write a reply, they will not be dare enough to do that. But later on, the next issue, we find a wonderful reply. Uh, the title of the essay, you find uh, the blindness of Nambudri youths or their audacity. And you know, I would like to read something about you know the translation of this wonderful work. They assume that they spin the wheels of time. They pause that no one in the community, particularly women, can stand on their own without their props. Let it be, yet, uh, yet showering insults after insult, uh, instilling after instilling self-esteem, is like murdering the sick after nursing back to health. The comfort-loving youth feel they could manipulate women to be puppets for their own convenience. Okay, agreed. Nonetheless, is it, isn't it despicable to cloister us in the kitchens and then and then label us as weak? We are not educated enough to be able to write. Neither are we in the habit of making public speeches. But it is an open secret that even those with immense taste who have all the prospects to achieve this cannot speak or write if it not for their secretaries. So goes the wonderful reply without even attacking the author as such or the going for any personal attack wonderful matter of fact reply seeing this the man becomes very much frustrated he wants to write he calls his trying to call his friends but nobody turns up and those who are there they are incapable of writing a reply so he feels very much annoyed that night he gets no uh, proper sleep and you know he walks here and there so that night when he is about to sleep he finds his wife missing fr from the bedroom when she when he searches for his wife he finds her writing a reply to the article then immediately he picks up the paper and asks a question, what are you doing? She says that I'm writing a reply to today's article. And he asks, who wrote this article? The person who is writing the reply herself wrote this. And she says, she reveals that it was written by herself. And he was, uh, the husband was really shocked to see this. Then he asked, why then you are writing a reply? Because, and then she says, the article, the reply was written by a community. The self-esteem of a community made to write such a reply because it attacked other genomes in general. But now, an individual is writing, seeing the agony of her own husband. After 
listening to this comment the husband picks the paper and tear them apart and he says there is no need of any reply i feel extremely happy to see this puppy he agrees to accept her that is how the story ends so i think this is a wonderful attempt from ladambika andarjan to state that women are capable enough to express themselves early attempts of women empowerment but even then the story ends in a manner that reaffirm man's intervention that is a debatable topic anyway this is the story in a in a very brief manner i hope you will enjoy reading this there are number of short stories if you are interested you can read these works and also her novel agni sakshi is made into a film in malayalam as well thank you for watching thank you all